year in and year out, I continually <laughs> go to Corbel Extra Dry for my sparkling wine. It is absolutely fantastic. I would dare say that it may be the best value in all of wine. It's one of the best, no doubt about that. And I absolutely love this Well, wine. I'm not gonna argue with you, at least this time. This, when you smell this wine, right away, this sparkling wine, you know you want to sip. I mean, it makes your mouth water, the aromas alone. I love yeah. it. This is a non-vintage wine too, and so it can change, but boy, you it's been <laughs> consistently great for a long time. You've got about six months, but go get it now. Go get this now before this, this thing turns over. You never know, it's a roll of the dice, but right now, this Corbel is phenomenal. This thing has an incredible balance, like all fine champagnes. You know, champagnes can, can be a little bit like the uh, emperor has no clothes. You pay a lot of money for a lot of fanciness, and a, and, a, and a lot of times it disappoints. It doesn't deliver. But this, this is the reverse. But this is a $12 yes, wine. 12 bucks. And this thing has grapefruit, honey, yes. some beautiful citrus uh, thrown in there on top of the grapefruit, and then um, some primary fruit, uh, pear, yes. pear, that's and it, it. And it's not overly dry. Even though it says extra dry, it's not overly dry. No. It's very well balanced and it is absolutely delicious. Yeah. And, and the, what probably lifts this up into high, sort of higher end value territory is this wine has secondary notes. It's got some almond and it's got some sort of yeasty bread component that really rounds it out. It may not sound good like bread bread in your sparkling wine. What the hell does that mean? Well, actually, in, what it means is it gives it a nice full flavor. It sort of has a layered component to it and it's delicious. This bottle will be gone in a crowd. Uh, you'll have to have multiple bottles, put it that way. That's yeah, yeah, I serve yeah. it at, at my Christmas parties and I'll have yep. multiple different kinds of champagne and when this one gets poured, everyone goes, oh, I really like that one. I mean, you get lots of positive feedback for this wine. That's the truth. And it's not a $12 wine. It's much more. Much more. Uh, we're going all the way up. And I think this we pegged this value at 30 bucks. And a lot of you know, sometimes we'll knock a buck off to be on the safe side. We don't need to knock a buck no. off. This is a safe $30 purchase. If you blind taste this, you could be up in the 40s. I mean, yeah. it's got that kind no. of quality. It's a hands down, thumbs up wine. No doubt about it. I've tried it a hundred yeah. times. And, and the, uh, the last thing I'm going to add on Corbell, because we haven't had a chance to focus on them, Corbell has an amazingly beautiful, scenic place to visit. It's at the same time, intimate and big, and it's just a great place to hang out for a while. It's not your, you know, typical wine tasting place. It's got a lot more to it. Yeah, there. they have a rich history. Yeah. They're nestled in the redwood trees. It's absolutely gorgeous, green, yeah. lush grounds. Great, great place to kick great back place. And, and enjoy some wine. Two thumbs up to one of the all-time great values in Champagne, the non-vintage Corbel Extra Dry. Sparkling wine. You betcha. Mm. That sparkling wine thing again. Can't we just call it champagne? I hate that. <laughs>